stuck on how to write my vows and I realized I'd just been overthinking them to do it all the time. So here we go. A, E, I, O, and U. Oh yeah, and sometimes why. But this time I don't think why applies. When it comes to loving you, there are no whys, just why nots. Loving you has felt natural as awakening to you taking up most of the bed <laughs> when you started 50-50, eating while watching The Office, super fan episodes obviously. Ice cream for desserts means sitting down on the couch and making sure Archie gets a special treat to enjoy with us. Omelets in bed are a must when we both have the day off. And unconditional love is shown by allocating nap time. <laughs> All the things in life I experience with you make me appreciate being with you more and more. I'm thankful for all you have done in my life to support me and show me how loved I am, even when I'm at my lowest. You're the one I want to binge watch The Office with forever. Your arms are the ones I want wrapped around me at the beginning and end of each day. Your infectious smile is the one I want to love completely and forever. I promise to do my best to give you the same love and support every day of my life. I promise to walk with you hand in hand through life as your biggest fan, your shoulder to lean on, and your best friend. I promise to laugh with you every day, dance with you in the kitchen, and always complain you have too many unread books and take you to get more anyway. Today may seem like it's the start of a new journey, but I already belong to you since the first note you slid me during our astrology class. I mean, astronomy. Yes. Falling for you wasn't falling at all. It was walking into a house and knowing I'm home. Mm. Love you. Do you remember that time when Mr. Welsh asked you to stay after class so that he could talk to you? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. He told you that you had so much potential and that you should stop wasting your time on the girl who couldn't even ace her no open notebook quiz. He told you that you should focus on your studies because you were going places with your grades and this was just a silly little crush that was going to go nowhere. I just want to say, well, guess what, Mr. Welsh? This silly little crush did go somewhere and we're going to the altar to get married. I can't put into words how much you mean to me. You have stuck by, by my side through everything. You have loved me when I couldn't even love myself. You have cried with me at my Nana's funeral, and you were there to comfort me when I was in the middle when I would start crying in the middle of the night. You have been patient with me when I was frustrated at the world. You have always been by my side without fail. And for all that, I am so grateful. You have such a beautiful soul, and you make me want to be a better version of myself. Now you and I both know how indecisive I can be. Yeah. I just don't like making decisions. But if there is one decision I am sure of, it is spending the rest of my life with you. You are my soup snake. <laughs> Today I choose you. I promise to love you unconditionally, to honor you each and every day, to laugh with you when you are happy and to cry with you when you are sad. I promise to make you smile every day even if I frustrate you. <laughs> I promise to support you no matter what and to be your biggest fan. And no matter how frustrated I get, I promise to be your best friend and to stand by you no matter what. I love you beyond measure, and I can't wait for our journey together as husband and wife to begin.
and Kyle. May you have a long, happy life together. It may not be easy, but all the old people say that the best things never are. And this time, I think they're probably right. <laughs> Um, just remember, Kyle, when Emily's winning at cards, or I'm sorry, when you're winning at cards, and Emily makes up those crazy rules that she always does. Um, <laughs> well, <laughs> you're right. Um, well, when that happens, what are the rules of life? And is there a right way to do that, or is there a more adventurous way to do it? Because we all know the right answer. All right, Emily and Kyle. Emily's lifelong dream, of course, is to be a stay-at-home pet parent to Archie. That's the dream. Kyle's lifelong dream is to make Emily happy. It's one of those Barbie moments, you know? Gotta make her happy. But much to say, they've kind of grown into each other and like become one and I'm so excited to see what the future holds for you two and the lifetime that you two have together and lifelong time with Archie, your pet bear. Well, that's her cat, sorry. Archie's the cat, beautiful golden. Yeah, beautiful yellow cat. May your lives be filled with love, laughter, and happiness. Cheers to Kyle and Emily. Stronger than we've ever been Learning how to live again